Hello, my name is Richard Kelleher and I live in South Acton. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. And I want to talk about land clearing, tree clearing. Uh, I, growing up, th thought the trees were wonderful. I lived in a large, uh, a yard with many trees and um, I always thought they contributed to the oxygen to, that we breathe. What I realized more recently is that they really, more importantly, take carbon out of the air and that thereby protect us against climate change. Uh, the, I, state law allows town meeting to enact limits on land and or tree clearing. And in bringing such bylaws forward, the select board should consider impacts to equity, climate and water penetration. Why is it important to limit land and tree clearing? Trees cool and clean our air. They, they clean our water and they help preserve our mental health. Tree and land clearing can be devastating to the environment and to our neighbors. Trees protect our air by both storing carbon and generating oxygen. They protect our water by helping to recharge aquifers, filter toxins, and reduce runoff into rivers. And trees, as we know, contribute to mental health. There is a concern that there is too much clear cutting. Our petition seeks to ask the select board whether to do something about it. Here is a picture taken a few days ago of the type of clear cutting that we seek to prevent. This is the five Fletcher Court site in Acton with land and or tree clearing limits the damage would have been much less. If passed, this article would call for the select board to help prepare a warrant article, which if passed, would enact the tree and indoor land clearing limits in Acton. Green Acton has endorsed this article and it's our understanding that they plan to contribute to the work to find consensus on a potential land clearing limits bylaw but volunteers don't have the professional skills to draft such a warrant article. So we need the select board to authorize town council to help construct it. We will then modify the language of the draft article until there's enough consensus to bring it to town meeting. It's easy to understand why limiting land and tree clearing is good for the environment. It's more complicated to understand why it's fiscally prudent. Trees add value to the community. Limiting afford unaffordable building helps reduce pressure on the town's budget. It helps protect against negative neighborhood home imp value impacts. And it helps reduce physical and mental health costs. Just ask the neighbors who live next door to a clear cut land. There are various ways to do this. One is to place a limit as to the percentage of land that can be cleared. Another is to create a buffer or tree yard around the edges of the property where clearing is not allowed. A third is to require a tree by tree removal permit for each mature tree. The list goes on. The first method, perhaps the simplest, is to limit the percentage of land that can be cleared. The developer would choose which part of the land. Another method like that enacted in Concord is to enact a buffer around the property where tree clearing is banned. There are a long list of methods, seemingly a different one for each town we looked at. I'll leave you with a partial list of the benefits. We could have listed more if we had more time. We encourage you to visit with a group who wants to enact tree and land clearing limits to learn more. And I urge you to vote yes to ask the select board to help bring land clearing limits to the next town meeting for you to vote on.